There we go. Let us continue. Into uh, High Hrothgar. To talk to the Greybeards. Kinda of silly how I say hello everyone when there's like two people watch my videos maybe <laughs> at the moment. Oh. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Ah uh, yeah. Sky, guard you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The plates. Of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? The Blades just wanted to defeat Alduin, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Say so you won't help me. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Appreciate that said. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was sort of thought. intemperate. Let me talk to Parthenas. Your friend is slightly drunk. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. I have. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So can you teach me the shack? No. I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. I need to speak to Parthenax, then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. <laughs> but, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Mm -hmm. I haven't I met Parthenax yet. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. So, who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Because he's a dragon. Yeah. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Ah, yeah. If you, how are you going to teach me Dragon if you can't even walk upstairs? God. Ah, oh dear. Take time. Go all day. But seriously, hurry up. Hurry up, please. I loaded up fast. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
to Parthenax is perilous, not unlikely. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Thank you. Alright. Class guys. And commission. Yelling at. Hi. Here we go, Mina. Greetings, Wundanik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I think you already know who I am. Yes. Vaza, you speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. I need to learn the dragon one chat. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum, feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovaki. In your face. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. It's just torch on there, it flies off. Checking my phone everywhere, apparently. Sorry. <laughs> so, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Will I ever find love? Uh, <laughs> can you teach me the dragon and check? Ah. I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. That I do, my brother. The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek, Croesus. It them. cannot be known to me. <laughs> Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Dream, Seriously. All in good Seriously, time. Yeah. First, 
A question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? I like this world. I don't want to turn. Ruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Well, those ones are stupid. Some I'm just would saying. say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Nonsense. Perhaps <clears throat> this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? This isn't religion. I don't want it to happen. Next world will have to take care of itself. Paz, a fair I don't give a shit. Raw force. <clears throat> Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Krosis. Now I Gildan. will answer your question. <laughs> Say that every time. Mm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monavin? What you name Throat of the World? Sound it, eh? Dragons like mountains, right? Mm, true. <laughs> You now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. He's in the dragon or chair, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Well, that should be easy, I tell you that. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough. Okmulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents. Well, that of time. was silly. You saying the ancient Nord sent Elden forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Ooh. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, 
No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Esban and Agnair might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. I didn't actually speak to you, but you know. Soon, Ark Mora. Thank you. What should we talk to? Uh, I'll decide in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.